In this video, we shall introduce the standard normal curve and the standard table. We had been talking about normal probability distributions. So a normal probability distribution is a probability distribution of continuous random variables. But it is kind of special because when you lay down the probability histogram of this random variable, it will produce that bell curve. In the previous videos, we spoke about the characteristics of that bell curve. So these are examples of random variables which are observed to follow a normal probability distribution. So each of these would have its own bell curve. They are different bell curves, but at the same time, they have some similarities. They are symmetric, for example, with respect to their means, and the area under the curve is 1, so on and so forth. Now, we can produce one normal curve for all of our normal probability distribution, and we call it the standard normal curve, and we do it through this transformation. Z is equal to X minus the mean over the standard deviation. This is not the first time you are seeing this. We saw this in the topic measure of relative position. And so using this, we shall now produce a new curve called the standard normal curve. And we shall lay down the characteristics of this curve. It's a normal curve whose mean, median, and mode are equal to each other. And we are setting it to be equal to zero. So the mean of the standard normal curve is 0. Z is equal to 0 and the standard deviation is equal to 1. Just like with any normal curves, it is symmetric with respect to the vertical axis. Z is equal to 0. It passes through the peak of our curve. It passes through the mean. We have a horizontal axis and it is also the horizontal asymptote of the curve. Area under the curve is 1, and it follows this rule, 68, 68.26% of our uh, data values are to be found within one standard deviation from the mean, or from z is equal to 0. 95.44% of our data values is to be found within two standard deviations from the mean, and 99.72% is to be found within three standard deviations from the mean. Again, this is our standard normal curve. The mean of our uh, standard normal curve will coincide with z when it is equal to zero. Now, we can transform any normal curve into the standard no normal curve using this transformation. And just like what I said, we use this when we were talking about uh, measures of relative position. This is the Z table, the standard normal table. I first saw this when I was in second year college. And when I first saw this, I said to myself, I must be pretty much way advanced or deeply advanced into my math education because at that time, this was the most voluminous quantity of numbers I saw in one page. And I was kind of overwhelmed when I first saw this. I think our teacher was not able to effectively explain what this means. So the numbers inside the table are actually areas. Areas of regions. So these are areas of the regions under the curve. Look at that. In a particular interval. So, I will illustrate how to use this using examples. Okay, so what is the area of the region under the curve from 0 to 1.25? This is 0, and somewhere here is your 1.25. So, what you do is you draw vertical lines, and you shade this region. So, how do we use the table to get the area of this region? So from 0 to 1.25 so you look for 1. Point, you look for 1.25 so you begin with 1.2 so the numbers here represents the first two digits the units digits and the tenths digits of uh, z and the numbers 
in the upper row corresponds to the hundredths digit. So 1.2 and then 0 0.05. When you add it, it's 1.25. And their intersection is that one, 0.3944. So the area of this region is 0.3944. What is the area of the region under the normal curve between 0 and negative 2.06? You shade this region. Well, if you were to look at these Z's, these Z's are all positive. You don't have a, a table for negative values of Z. And you don't have to because our curve is symmetrical. So the area of this plane region, which I just uh, shaded, is actually just equal to the area of the region to the right of 0. That is from 0 to 2.06, we shade that region, and the area of this region is the same as, but the area of this region is just equal to this. Okay, so let us use our Z table. So we look for 2, 2.0, 2 2.0, and then 0, 0.6. So their intersection is equal to 0 0.4803. That is the area of this region. So the area of the region under the curve in this interval, 0 to negative 2.06, is 0 0.4803. Another one. What is the area of the region under the normal curve that is less than 1? So where is 1 here? This is 1. So you draw a vertical line. So all of Z that is less than 1, all of this. So how do we get the area of that region using our, using our Z table? Well, we can decompose it into two regions. The first, is, the first is the area of the region under the normal curve, which is less than 0. It will be this one. And then we shall add the region under the curve from 0 to 1. So we add that 2 and we get the area of the region under the normal curve or under the standard uh, curve that is less than 1. Okay, what is the area of this region? This is the area of the region to the left of 0. And you know this to be equal to... All of that, okay, going to negative infinity, you know that to be equal to 0 0.5. And then we shall add the area of the region from 0 to 1. We add the two regions and the answer is 0.8413. The area of the entire region under the curve to the left of 1 is 0.8413. What is the area of the region under the standard curve in the interval 1 to 2.5? So this is 1, and 2.5 is here. Okay, so you draw your vertical lines, and then you shade. What is the area of that region? So this is what we can do. We cannot use the table directly to obtain this area. So what we can do is... Get the area of the region under the curve from 0 to 2.5. And then we subtract the area of the region from 0 to 1. We shall be left with, with what? We shall be left with, with the region under the curve from 1 to 2.5. So again, let us use the table to look for these areas. From 0 to 2.5, it's uh, 0 0.4938 minus, minus the region between 0 and 1, 0 0.3413, and the answer is 0 0.5125.